Now you see this is a magnified view in which you are seeing that this is the head of the fetus and this is the body of the fetus, the abdomen of the fetus, urinary bladder, the amniotic fluid and uh, don't see, this is a more clear view of the fetus showing intrauterine fetal demise. You can see that it's a transverse lie, not unusual in this stage of the, in this gestation age and uh, as I showed you there are no, there is no evidence of uh, cardiac flicker. So in case of uh, bicornuate uterus with, with missed abortion in one on scene and uh, intrauterine fetal demise in the second uh, fetus, uh, the fetus number one. This we will call as fetus number one because this is close to the horse and the fetus that is close to the os is labeled as uh, fetus number one in multiple pregnancies and this is the placenta. Early stage is uh, almost previa or marginal. Thank you very much. This is an obstructive scan of 12 weeks gestational age as per bipolar diameter of the fetus. This is the head of the fetus. This is the head of the fetus. And, uh, and when you try to get the cardiac activity, there is uh, no evidence of cardiac activity in this uh, fetus. Here we should here here should be the cardiac flicker seen at this gestational age, but in this fetus there is no uh, evidence of cardiac flicker. Then when the tubular shaped gestational sac is seen dumbbell shaped rather and uh, what else you can see is that uh, let me magnify, we should magnify in, case, in such cases and then evaluate. Now you see that uh, that we can see the head <coughs> This is the head of the fetus, it is the body of the fetus. No movements. The length of the fetus is approximately 2.6 centimeters or 2.68 centimeters. And another thing to note, there is uh, placental development. You see, this is the placenta. This is the placenta at a very early stage. It starts developing at 12 weeks, gestational age. We are seeing at 12 weeks. So this is a very early stage uh, posterior placenta. And the placenta is uh, almost uh, marginal. See, this is the house and this is the placenta. In a magnified view, this is the cervix, internal house rather, with this being the urinary bladder and this being the uterus. 
anterior myometrium. And this is the pleurisa gestational sac of this. The shape of the gestational sac is uh, now tubular, it's not rounded. Now this is a relatively better view that of the head and the body of the fetus. And uh, I have repeated the probe in a way that now what you are seeing is that this is the head and this is the body. No cardiac flicker, no fetal movement. empty uh, tubular <coughs> structure is seen extending. Now, another thing to note is that this is in fact a bicornoid uterus, Y bicornoid. Yeah, you see this is uh, the gestational sac in one horn of the <coughs> uterus and this is the fetus uh, showing fetal demise. Now this is the second horn of the uh, fetus, uh, sorry, of the uterus in which you see ecogenic areas and the uterus layers approximately 8.6 millimeters. What we do, we see in the other horn is, this is the second horn. And it is almost clear. This horn is clear, this area. But it may, this endometrial cannot may is approximately 15 millimeters dilated with thick ecogenic because of this pregnancy in the second horn of the uterus. You can see that this is, this is the uh, endometrial canal of the second horn. This is the endometrial canal of the second horn showing a rather few equals and we cannot rule out the possibility of missed abortion uh, from this uh, this uh, from this on these are the this is a case of twin pregnancy and uh, we see the loss of fetus uh, in both horns this one on the right side uh, shows uh, dilated uh, endometrial canal with internal echoes of different strength which are suggestive of missed abortion in this horn. And in the other horn, we see a fetus of 12 weeks uh, with the evidence of fetal demise. Now this is the uterus. All of this is the uterus. This is the endometrial canal number two in which you are seeing dense coarse ecogenic areas and this endometrial canal measures in transfer section approximately 13, uh, 12.2 and is full of internal echoes, not dilated in this scanning plan, whereas this endometrial canal uh, is showing a fetus of 12 weeks uh, and the fetus is not showing cardiac flicker, no movements. So, one horn showing best abortion, second horn uh, has a fetus of 12 weeks with no movements, no cardiac flicker. A case of, uh, this is the longitudinal section. 
in which you can see these features in its full length, the features in this hall in its full length, and this is the other form of the uterus showing. Now this is the longitudinal section. In longitudinal section what we are, going, we are seeing Patient gives history of uh, spotting, and here we are. You can see the dense echogenic particles within this uh, endometrial canal measuring approximately 16 millimeters in this scanning plan, and all these echogenic particles within it. This is the second horn showing you the, and, uh, the dead fetus, intrauterine fetal demise. So this is in longitudinal section, endometrial canal 2, and this is the fetus in the second horn. This is the uterus. So this is, this is the uterus, the anterior myometrium. So this is a case of twin pregnancy with missed abortion in, uh, from one horn and I intrauterine fetal demise, that of the uh, second fetus. <coughs> Thank you very much.